In this segment, we're going to cover how to change the rotation lock on a Crossfire monitor. Uh, one of the symptoms that uh, you'll notice that requires a new rotation lock is when you actually have your Crossfire monitor in the lock position and you can still move it on top of your fire truck. Only one part is required for this change and that is part number X170. Let's go ahead and do the repair. Go ahead and turn the crossfire over on its back. Just makes it a little bit easier to work on so that parts will stay in place and you can kind of get a better look of where the pin's coming through. First step is to grab some uh, either a flathead screwdriver or what I have is a, a, a pick. Take the uh, spiral pin off. After the spiral pin's off, Go ahead and pull the pin out. Now you're going to go ahead and remove the cam lock and the spring. Just make sure that you kind of note the orientation of the spring with the long leg here, the short leg here, and the coil in the middle. And as you pull that out, it is under tension, so make sure that it doesn't spring out on you and you don't lose that, that spring. Lastly, um, you remove the old X170 rotation lock. Grab our new rotation lock. Insert that into the hole on the side of the casting. Grab our cam lock. Insert that in. Slide the pin in through. Take the spring, make sure you have the orientation correct again with one leg, the longer leg pointing towards the lock and the pin, shorter leg up on top. Once the spring is slid into the pocket, you can kind of take a look from this side and make sure that spring is lined up. Once you can make sure it's lined up with the hole, you can shove the pin the rest of the way through. Last up is to reinsert the, uh, the spiral pin. Sure. Once the spiral pin's back in place, make sure that that spring works and actuates the, the lever lock. Once that's done, you can go ahead and reinstall this back on the truck.